Hey guys, what's up out there in Facebook land? This is Miss Ramsey coming with a first grade lesson for you. Um, we're going to continue talking about shapes. Um, but let's see, our standard is NC1G1. So we're still going to talk about distinguishing um, between defining and non-defining attributes of three-dimensional shapes. But today we're also going to add to that and we are going to construct some of those shapes if it works out. That's the plan anyway, is to construct some of the shapes. All right, so let's get going with a little bit of music this morning. See if you can remember the song from yesterday. 3D Shape Expert. That I know a sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. A baseball, the moon, and an orange I have right here are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a sphere. A basketball, the earth, and marbles I have here are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a sphere. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. A soda can, a pencil shaped in a can of soup would be examples of a cylinder as you can plainly see. A marker, a glass of milk, and a peanut butter jar are all examples of a cylinder. Yes, I'm sure they are. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. Ah, pyramid. And an ice cream cone, a pencil tip, and a megaphone are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a cone. A birthday hat, a traffic cone, or a funnel in my home are all examples of a 3D shape that A cylinder, a cube, and a cone, and a pyramid. A paperweight, Egyptian pyramids, and some tents would be examples of a pyramid, as you can plainly see. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. All right, just being a little silly this morning, dancing around, talking about our three-dimensional shapes. Um, so I also have a little poem for you. It says, 3D shapes are fat, not flat. A cone is like a party hat. A sphere is like a bouncy ball. A prism is a building tall. A cylinder is a can of pop. If you don't know what pop is, that's like um, a soft drink, like Coke or Sprite or Dr. Pepper. Um, I have a friend who lives in Montana that calls it pop. We usually don't call it that here. Anyway, a cylinder is a can of pop and a cube is like the dice you drop. 3D shapes are here and there. 3D shapes are everywhere. So let's go over that one again. 3D shapes are fat, not flat. A cone is like a party hat. 
a sphere is like a bouncy ball, a prism like a building tall, a cylinder is a can of pop, and a cube is like the dice you drop. 3D shapes are here and there. 3D shapes are everywhere. All right, so we, um, I've done some little fun fact cards. I guess you could call them fun fact cards. Um, kind of like little statistic cards um, for each shape because we've been talking about those attributes for a while. Um, so let's go over their name and their statistics like they were um, a football player or a baseball player and what they look like, okay? So our first one is a cone and a cone has one point and a cone has one face which is a circle and it is round so it also looks like a party hat a nail a um, traffic cone and an ice cream cone so there are some of the statistics on a cone all right, let's see who our next player up is. Our next player up is a cube, or as I like to call it, cutie cube. So the stats on a cutie cube is it has six faces, six faces, and they are all square, all square faces. Um, they have eight vertices or corners or points, whatever you wanna call them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight points. And another stat is that it has 12 edges. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It has 12 edges. These straight lines are edges. All right, some more of the stats is it looks like dice. It looks like a box and it looks like ice an ice cube all right who's our next player up today our next player is our cylinder all right so what are the stats on our cylinder so here's the cylinder the stats on our cylinder is that it has two circle faces so one two and they are flat surfaces. Those are flat surfaces. It's also round. We learned yesterday that it can roll and it can stack and it has two edges. So here would be one of the edges. Here would be another one of the edges. All right. So some things that might look like a cylinder or a garbage can, maybe a lampshade, maybe a drinking glass, and even a straw. Like I've said, my artistic abilities are not very good. All right, next player up in our stats, our ball team, our 3D shape, three-dimensional shape ball team is a sphere. And you know I like to call her Sassy Sphere because she's the only shape like this. So the stats on her Sassy Sphere is that she is round. She has no points no edges and no faces. She looks like a ball or an orange or even meatballs in your spaghetti. So there's our sphere, Miss Sassy Sphere. And then our last player up is a rectangular prism and that is a horrible drawing of a rectangular prism, I apologize. But a rectangular prism it has six spaces, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six spaces. It has eight vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has two square faces, one, two, and then it has four rectangular faces, one, two, three, and one on the back side is four. And it also has 12 edges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, 
Now, some more stats on our rectangular prism is that it looks like um, maybe a cargo train or maybe a tall apartment building. All right, so we've talked about we have two shapes that look a lot alike. Um, they have a lot of stats in common. Do you remember what those two shapes are? Let's see if you can guess. Our cutie cube and our rectangular prism. So when we looked at our stats right there, we saw that they both have six faces and they both have 12 edges. They both have six faces and 12 edges. And we've talked about how if you put two cubes together, those two cubes make a rectangular prism. And then if we pull them apart, it just becomes a cube. All right? So let's see if you can guess one of my shapes, all right? So I'm going to give you some clues. Here are some clues and see if you can guess. I am a 3D shape. I have six faces and eight vertices. All my faces are in the shape of squares. What shape do you think I am? I'll give you a few seconds. Do, 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 do. A cube, all right? A cube has six faces um, and eight vertices, and they are all squares. All right, let's try another one. I'm a 3D shape. I'm made of triangles and a square. So what would be made of triangles and a square? A pyramid. So we've got a square on the bottom, and then we've got one, two, three, four triangles. All right, and last clue. I am a 3D shape. This one sounds a whole lot like the first one I just did. I am a 3D shape. I have six faces and eight vertices. My faces can be made of rectangles. So what do you think that one is? The rectangular prism. Jonah's in the background going, rectangular prism. It is a rectangular prism. Yes, that's right. Okay, so like I said, today we're going to talk about the attributes, which we just did. We reviewed all of those, um, but we are going to try to construct some of those shapes um, because that is part of your standard. Now, this part is going to be a little sticky, so I hope that it works out all right. Um, so, one of them that we're going to make is a triangular prism. So, I'm going to use some marshmallows and some toothpaste to try to construct these. So let's think about what I need if I'm going to make a triangular prism. So what shape does my base need to be? My base needs to be a tri, or I'm sorry, a square. I don't even know my shapes. My shape needs to be a square on the base. And then it needs to come to a point at the top, okay? Now I cheated a little bit on this one and I kind of put it together already, kind of, sort of. So I've got a square down at the bottom and then they are all coming together with points at the top. So it doesn't look perfect because I'm doing this with marshmallows and toothpicks, all right? But we've got our four vertices or four points at the bottom, one, two, three, four, and they have come together at the top. Now what shape does each one of these make? Each face up here makes a triangle, all right? Let's try one more, and when you do this at home, if you try it, try um, like the little marshmallows because I had to cut these from the really big s'mores ones, and so they're really sticky, so it doesn't work out very well. Um, but anyway, so let's try a cube. Let's see if we can make a cube. So think about a cube. So what shape does my base need to be? My base needs to be a square, so let's see if we can start with a square. So if it's a square, how many toothpicks do you think I need at the bottom? How many edges does it have? Let's see if I can get it going real fast. Almost done, almost done. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. All right, so we've got our square base. Can you see that? 
So there's your square base. So I've got four corners. All right, then what do you think I need to do after that? I need to build up from that, right? So I'm gonna have to put four more toothpicks in there. One, two, three, four. All right, so I've got that. Now I need more marshmallows on the top. And this is the part that's going to get sticky. So one. And then we've got another one over here. And this probably isn't going to turn out perfect. Especially since I'm trying to hurry. And so here we go this way. And then I need another one this way. And then another one this way. I've almost got it, guys. Almost got it. And let me put one marshmallow here. <laughs> there we go. And I'm done. All right. So at home, see if you guys can build these into three-dimensional shapes. All right. I'm only going to try those two so you guys aren't bored out of your minds. But I want us to um, do one more shape before we leave. So let's look at this piece of paper. What shape is this piece of paper? It is a rectangle, right? But I'm gonna roll it up and I want you to think about what kind of shape do you think it's gonna turn into? What 3D shape do you think it will turn into when I roll it up? All right, you ready? Let's see if you can figure it out. So I just rolled up a rectangle and I made what shape out of it? It has a round face and a round face. So what shape do you think I made? That's a cylinder, right? So you can take a rectangle and roll it up and turn it into a cylinder. All right. I've had fun building with you guys today and being silly. Um, I hope that you have a great day. Hey to Jennifer Pittman and Amy and Andrea. It's embarrassing, all my friends watching me. Anyway, bye guys, have a good day. Love ya.